But I absolutely have to, like, follow me here. I think I still get the shed tail off. Oh. Alright, I still get the shed tail off. No, we're good. Okay. So the reason I want to build around Cyclozar is it's a Pokemon that I was really hyped for on release. I thought it was really good. Uh, but it's... It's just, it, it doesn't do anything. It really doesn't. Uh, so, uh, I want to find a way to make it work. So, that's going to be today's video slash live stream. Uh, and we're going to try to find a way to make Cyclozar do something. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up Victory Road. And we're going to look at some tournament teams and see if there's like any kind of archetype. Um, we'll look at the most recent... Oh, wait, this isn't going to work because we're going to do series... No, because we're doing Series C, not Series C. We're doing the format regulation C, whatever we're calling it. Uh, but yeah. All right. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, comment, question of the day. What do you think about cycles are? And yeah, let's just do this. All right. So obviously we have to run like Regenerator. Uh, just add it to a team and add Wo Chen. Dude, on honestly, like maybe, <laughs> maybe. By the way, I'm on the main account because I need to ladder it up because I like don't ladder on it nearly enough. But okay, so Cyclozar. So the uh, the move Shed Tail, right? Takes one half of the HP to pass a substitute. I think you would always run Terra Ghost on it to guarantee a Shed Tail and like fake out users. Um, You want to like max out the HP funny enough. Or at least get it here. Because what that'll do is allow you to... Alright, so the way that, like, Substitute works, right? The move Substitute, it uses your HP stat. Cyclozar's got some base 70 HP. So because this Shed Tail move also makes an HP... Or also uses your HP. You want Cyclozar to have a high HP stat for, like, really good Substitutes. Um, because right here, it's 176. If we're using half of that, what's 176 divided by 2? That's, like, what, um... 50 plus 38, so 88. I'm stupid. Is that, you know, I'm going to bust at the cag. I Physics degree, can't do math. Physics degree, can't do math. 98? <laughs> 176 divided by 2. Yeah, it's 88. Okay. I never trust my math skills. Um, But yeah, so... That's an 88 HP substitute. So what I thought we could do is pass it to a Ruinous Legend. Um, because a lot of the Ruin Pokemon are just like really, really good at getting like not KO'd. Um, but the thing is, you'd also want to shed tail into something that can like set up, right? So I was like, what, what's like a good Belly Drone Pokemon? And there's like a decent amount of good Belly Drone Pokemon, but none of them are like that fast. Like that's like the issue here, right? So... We have to think about this. Maybe like a nasty plot. Oh, wait. I know what we do. I know what we do. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Golden go. Mouse hold. Annihilate. Or maybe just no annihilate. Maybe just golden gold mouse hold. Right? I think golden Joe could do it. Um... Yeah, just like bold golden go. Because this guy's got like crazy good like substitute potential. Let's go Terra Water. I'm going to use bold and go. How much speed do I want? Enough for like plus two. Let's just hit like 107. Uh, do this. You might be wondering, what does this spread do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's open up the damage calc. So, um... Golden Go. Blank set. Let's take a look at... What's it called? Um... Great Tusk. Just sash Great Tusk. Why not? 52. Bold.
Hmm. Uh, what's the move called? Headlong Rush. All right, what if we have Friend Guard up? Wow, that just like tanks. That's crazy. And that's like adamant too. Um, what if we don't have Friend Guard up and they're jolly? I could like totally guarantee that live. Wait, let's do that. 196, let's do like the fattest golden go ever. Or we just tank a headlong rush. World's fattest golden go. Make it rain. Nasty plot. Protect shadow ball. World's beefiest golden go. Mouse holders can run like um safety goggles, terror ghost. This guy's gonna be terror water, yep, terror ghost. Jolly. Max Max, probably. Yeah. I want follow me. Protect. Um, do I want Encore? Encore could be like really good, but helping hands also not bad. Faint could be fun. After you could also be kinda kinda crazy. I definitely want Super Fang. It's just the last move that I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> Tidy up. Hmm. Let's do... Let's do Faint. I think it could be... Ah, eh, now let's go Encore. I think Encore is just like way better. All right. And we'll just put like some attack on you. Oh, why are you not... Yeah. All right. Uh, as for the item, Citrus Berry is pretty reliable. Shed turn, shed tail, U turn. Uh, breaking swipe is probably not bad. What's your special attack stat? Eighty five. Um, with eighty five special attack, I actually kind of wanna do something a little crazy. You get taunt. It does get taunt. Can also run Ice Spinner for like Indeedy Arborist teams. By the way, how's the music volume? I can turn it up if you guys need. Why does it get Power Whip, dude? Rain Dance could be kind of nasty. If I like paired it with the right thing. Um. By the way, I think we're going to put a Palafin on this team. Maybe. It's just the last move. Like maybe I just run protect, but then I feel like the team's too passive. run shift gear because that's just like bad uh maybe quick attacks like not a bad idea we could also just do protect let's do protect for now you know what yeah we'll do protect for now that's fine no need for another support move okay dude i have a feeling like this substitute's not gonna break on golden go in some games for tailwind um we might go Dragonite for our Tailwind user. I can also go Roaring Moon. Regardless, I'm going like double Dragon, I think. I think Dragonite's probably the play. Yeah. Let's do Lumberry. Multi-scale. Dude, that sub is not getting broken on this Dragonite. Wait, what if I did like Tailwind? Oh, he does get Swords Dance. Does he get Dragon Dance? Oh, he does get Dragon Dance. But I want tailwinds. And like I can't really run both. Like comfortably, you know. Um let's not do dragon dance. Let's just do tailwind like Terra Blast. Terra flying set.
Why does this always want like default to zero attack IVs? Wait, guys, someone jog my memory. Is it even HP is optimal or odd HP is optimal for like random like toxic and stuff? I always forget. The game rounds down. So odd? Yeah. I think that's how it works. Odd. Thank you. Okay. Um. Stream speed. And ice spinner. Maybe we actually, um, maybe we do this. Maybe we put like Chen Pao and like actually do Terra normal and have like a different tailwind setter. Maybe we do that. Maybe Life Orb instead. Hmm. I could just do that. Because I'm probably not going to get burnt on my Dragonite. And I don't want to do Choice Band because I do want to have the option for this. Hold on, let's do Terra Normal. Life Orb. Keep Tailwind on there. Drop Terra Blast for like... Um, protect, probably. Do I need that? Stomping tantrums, right? Fine. Or actually, uh, low kick's good too for like Don Dozo stuff. Yeah, extreme speed low kick ice spinner. I love that Dragonite doesn't run any like stab moves on most of its move sets. Like that's hilarious. Focus sash. <laughs> I'm I'm like evil with this set today. We have like <laughs> so much stuff we can run on this. Like it's so bad. All right. Um. All right. So swords dance ice spinner. Protect. Throat chop. I don't really think I need sucker punch. I could also drop protect for um, sucker punch and like have no protect on it with like a sash. Yeah, the team has enough protects. And then like the last mon, we can just have something like really annoying on the special side. Um, we could do double offensive ruin. But I think maybe just like... Maybe just like... um. Specs Fluttermane would be fine. Like Booster. Actually, Booster Fluttermane's probably good too. Let's do Booster. Makes it more threatening. Moonblast, Protect, uh, Dazzling Gleam, and Shadow Ball. I like having both, typically. Okay. This team seems really threatening. Let's take it on ladder. Um, I haven't given this guy EVs yet. Let's just... Bam. 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 Yeah, this team seems kind of threatening. <laughs> um, I'll try to, like, flowchart my way through matches rather than just, like, go hard into Cyclozar every single game, but I think it's going to be pretty easy to do the Cyclozar setup. Oh, wait, let me uh, make sure my Terras are correct. Uh, Terra Normal. You're going to be Terra Ghost. You're going to be Terra Fairy. You're going to be Terra Ghost. Terra Ghost. We have like three Terra Ghosts on this team. All right. Let's do it. Okay. I 
I've clicked for victory. Uh, so we see Screamtail with Encore Parish Song. It's not Booster Energy, it's Citrus Berry. This team looks like I could set up on it like really easily with Golden Go. And I might just do that. <laughs> so I'm going to lead off Cyclozar. And... Do I go Mouse Hold? I could like totally set up on this team with Cold and Go. I'm calling it Cold and Go because there's a Chen Pao on this team. Um, yeah, they have Parish Song, but Golden Go doesn't get affected by that. So we can just stay in. Don't really care about Iron Bundle. Yeah, I almost never ladder on main, so I'm doing that right now. <laughs> Alright, uh, Golden Go, and let's go like. Booster Flutter seems good. Hmm. This is problematic. I should be able to Shed Tail into Golden Go fine, but it might actually be more beneficial just to go Flutter. And follow me. Mousehold can definitely take the double up. Because this guy should go first. Nice. Shed Tail, eat my Citrus Berry. Get off the field, get in my Flutter main. Um, or actually, let me check that item real quick. So it was Covert Cloak on Iron Bundle, Terra Bug, and Clear Amulet on Chen Pao. Yeah, Flutter main goes crazy here. <laughs> they have like no real counterplay to Flutter main if I just Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam and Follow Me is fine to prevent like Sucker Punch. Oh, it doesn't have Sucker Punch. It is Terra Fire, though. I think I still follow me, so I at least get one KO. Or maybe I... What's the item on this dude? Or what's, like, the moveset? He does have Protect. I'm just going to Terra Fury Dazzling Gleam. Follow me. I should get at least one KO here. All right. Doesn't break the sub. That one does, though. I'm going to get Cyclozar in. Actually, I can get in Golden Go here. I don't know if that's in range of, like, Moonblast. I could try to go for, like, a crazy Protect. I'm going to Protect here and just make it rain. Actually, no, I think I always Shadow Ball this guy. Because that guarantees next turn I can Dazzling Gleam the KO. Because I'm, dude, I'm bold and go. I don't drop to anything. Yeah. Okay, sick. Yeah, that doesn't KO. So now I Dazzling Gleam and I get in Cyclozar. And that gives me an opportunity to Shed Tail next turn. To get gold and go back in and like start nasty plotting. Ooh, maybe not because they didn't sack. Iron hands. Protect. Protect. Should be fine. Just on the fake out. Because you know they have it. They could nasty plot on me. I don't think it's worth like really calling it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna hit. I'm just gonna hit it. Cause if I can get in golden go this next turn, I could just win. Uh now let's breaking swipe, it's safer. Let's see if I, I think that they yeah. I think that they wanna set up and Fluttermane isn't really threatened here. Yeah. No para either. So we're like set. Um how much did the Dazzling Gleam do? Dazzling Gleam did 
58% to this guy. I don't think my U-turn KOs, but breaking swipe should, because it's life orb, so I just I just double attack. Alright, this is single target, should KO. That's game. Nice. Alright. Shadow Ball. U-turn. GG, well played. All right, that worked out pretty well. So that's what I mean. Like there are gonna be matchups where I can like use Cyclozar, but it's, ooh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm no, don't do that. Don't reject the open team sheets, dude. <laughs> what is this? What is this? What do I even? Okay, let's think critically. Um, they have priority blocking moves. I can encore them into something. I know that much. I think I just like have to do like the Golden Ghost Cyclozar thing for my best odds of winning. Cyclozar doesn't get parting shot. Maybe Sash is going to be my friend here. But I think Dragonite might be better once this guy's gone. Um, do D Knight. This guy's gonna be like Scarf, isn't he? You know what? It's gonna be Scarf Lava Plume. Does it get Lava Plume? Yeah, that's going to be like Scarf Lava Plume. Um, Cyclozar might be able to still Shed Tail. But I absolutely have to like follow me here. I think I still get the Shed Tail off. Oh. Alright, I still get the Shed Tail off. No, we're good. I'm going to Terra Water this next turn, and let's get Life Orb Dragonite in. Yeah. Terra Water, Nasty Plot, and I should always be able to... Low Kick doesn't do that much to Chi Yu. Well, oh wait, that's Terra Normal. <laughs> let's just Tailwind, or it's Terra Ghost. Let's just Tailwind. That broke? What? I'm so surprised that broke. All right. Well, we got the tailwind off. Um, not really concerned with Chi Yu, but Doxbun is getting a little bit annoying, and he already Terrored. So we'll make it rain here to KO both. Um, and I'll also go for the. Oh, wait, I'm probably not going to KO Chi without attacking. Let's just Ice Spinner. Yeah, got the KO. I got burnt though, but it's whatever. Still a plus one. Dox Punch shouldn't live. That w this is a weird game, bro. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. I was like, wait, what's going on? What's going on? If I see one more lava plume plus Ferrigarath team, I'm gonna explode. All right, um, how do they prevent my setup? They really don't, especially if, yeah, I think I just keep doing the thing I've been doing. Uh, they do have options. Oh wait, here, I can take a look at this. Choice specs on the Chi Yu, good to know. Um, that can inform my plays. Wait. Yes, he's going to be like, hold on. I don't even know like what to do here. <laughs> Real Moxie boost it. Yes. Plattering on main for once. 
Do I bring in Chen Pao just to like beat this thing? I guess I don't really. Maybe I just lead off with Golden Go and like Terra Water immediately. Hmm. Booster Flutter Mane's also pretty solid into this unless they'd off like Tailwind. Let's go Mouse Hold, Cyclozar, Flutter, Golden Go. Double Ghost, yeah. Okay, um, what was, it was Assault Vest on the Glamora. I should be fine here to, I don't really think I need to follow me. Cyclozar should be able to eat whatever. Oh wait, it has a bad special defense stat, doesn't it? I actually don't know this thing's stats. It's going to be close. I think I'll always be able to get my Shed Tail off though, but let's just go ahead and go for the Encore to Murkrow. So next turn, it's going to end up having to go for whatever it does this turn. And... I want to save the Terra Water for Golden Go, so I have to just go for the raw Shed Tail. Alright, cool. I should always get in Golden Go here. Because I think they Sludge Bomb. Nice. Okay. On this turn... I'm going to get Cyclozar back in to regenerate. And I think I have to Terra Water Nasty Plot. To make sure I don't lose my no I have to I have to stay in and we super fang and we tear a water nasty plot oh I did break the sub I was like I need to stay in just in case it like actually does enough to break all right um what was the tear on you grass okay you shouldn't live this even with the AV at plus two I'm gonna super fang Murkrow now and go for a make it rain Oh, I guess it does have Haze. I for Gore. Let's see if this KOs anyways. Nice. They have two turns of Tailwind. I can protect and protect. And then it looks like Booster Flutter is going to be my best friend in the endgame. They have Sucker on Brew Bonnet. They do have Sucker on Brew Bonnet. And it's Specs Chi Yu. So with that in mind, we're going to I should always be able to KO Chi Yu, I think. Do I sack Cyclozar here? I don't think it drops, but it comes really close. Last turn of Tailwind. Let's see if I can take this. Nice. Okay. So in comes Golden Go. Actually, no. I think I just beat Brute Bonnet with a double attack into it. Because it kind of has to attack. And then I think Golden Go beats this 1v1. Yeah. It's going to be really close for the Golden Go matchup. Now that I think about it, oh uh, no, maybe I do have to target. Is Moonblast U-turn the play? No. It's going to be Moonblast plus like Breaking Swipe. And then hope I win with like Make It Rain. Mm, oh, I dodged. We're good. <laughs> We're gaming. All right. So I Moonblast, make it rain. I 
Terra Dark. Oh my god. Wait, no, I just lose. All right, GG, well played. Yeah, I, I didn't uh, realize they didn't use their Terra yet. Nice. All right. So this just kind of, it's not really like Glamora stall. I mean, it does have like a stall option to it, but it doesn't look like a stall team, you know? I think for this one, I could just go with like Chen Pao Dragonite. Then again, uh, Cyclozar lead isn't bad because it allows me to avoid like toxic spikes and stuff. I think does does substitute let you avoid toxic spikes? I don't know. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's just try it. Uh, last Mon here. I think I go Dragonite. Mm, let's go Chien Pao. Alright. Should always be able to Shed Tail. And protect. No, let's follow me. Um, I want to follow me instead of protect here. Because even if they Mortal Spin, I don't really mind a poison on Mouse Hold. It's more just like... I want to make sure that I don't get flare blitzed on my Cyclozar slot or like earth powered and have that like substitute go away immediately because the amount of value I get out of that substitute is huge this turn. They will a wisp. All right, sick. Yeah, and Mortal Spin does like nothing, so I should be able to Nasty Plot. And I'm gonna Encore Arcanine here. And I kind of have to Terra Water here to avoid like... No, we did see that like Substitute was broken by Earth Power anyway, so I don't know if it's worth it just yet. Encore Arcanine, so it's just Will-O-Wisping. Alright, there we go. Um, and now here, I actually want a nasty plot again, and let's encore the Glamora and I Terra Water, I think. The only thing is I can lose to like Iron Bundle. King Gambit? Okay, I'm cool with that because I'm Terra Water now. And I want to make sure I KO this King Gambit. Let's go for a Make It Rain and a Super Fang, and I think that'll do it from this range. It's going to be really close. But I should always KO Glamora. As long as I don't miss the Super Fang. Like, I'll KO King Gambit. It'll also be Specs Glamora. Or not Specs, um, Sash, I mean. Arcanine comes out, that's fine. I miss my Super Fang, which is like, really bad. <laughs> That uh, wouldn't have KO'd, but the next one could with, like, Shadow Ball. That does nothing. That's hilarious. All right. I think here I just follow me and Shadow Ball the Ark. To prevent, like, Sucker Punch. It could also Snarl me, but I'm still going to be at plus two, so it'll be fine. Okay, the Arcanine. There's Bungle. Um, I'm not really scared of Bungle, to be honest. What I'm going to do here is double protect on their protect. Because I think they're going to want to, like, protect and try to KO Mousehold. And then next turn, I can follow me Shadow Ball. Or even Make It Rain will do it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. 
Now I follow me make it rain because that always KOs bundle unless they're Terra Water. Uh, maybe I just Shadow Ball. Nah, I make it rain. Follow me. It guarantees at least one KO this turn. Cool. Cool with that. Get rid of Bungle. Critical hit on King Gambit. Katow Cleave does KO me. But now... Now... I have my Chen Pao. And... They do have the option to Spiky Shield. I'm pretty sure that's going to be... Not what wins them the game here because uh, King Gambit is most likely AV here. So I'm just going to double the King Gambit. Make it rain. Ice Spinner should do it. They didn't open Team Sheets either, so I have no idea what the Glamora set is. Yeah, they Spiky Shield. I think this will KO. Nice. All right, that's game. Make it rain once more. Ice Spinner again. So far, this is going pretty well. Oh, they... Okay. <laughs> they just sack the Glamora there. <laughs> All right. Now, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Hold on. It's kind of scary. Not going to lie. Boom, 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 boom. You should run Sacred Sword in your Chen Pao for coverage. I could. Um, I don't really think I need the fighting coverage, though, to be honest. Because in games where Chen Pao comes, Dragonite's usually going to come anyways, and that's Life Orb Low Kick. I think I just like rinse and repeat. Oh wait, that's an Ndidi Armor Rouge. Bro, what's it like hating everything? What's it like hating all things good? I bring um, Ice Spinner Dragonite to this game. Actually, I think I just don't even lead off Cyclosaur. I think I go Chen Pao Dragonite for best odds. And I bring Golden Go Mousehold. Suppose well, that's not too bad. Oh, but I am inner focus and not multi scale. I'm going to double attack Flutterman. Sucker Punch, Terra Normal, Tailwind should be fine. All right, well, that kind of sucks. In a bulk up. Um. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, are they gonna like go into armors here? Go mousehold, Flutterman. All right. Uh, so they're probably gonna want a dazzling gleam, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and ice spinner into Fluttermain and follow me, just in case they don't have dazzling gleam. They have to moonblast. I could also Encore them this turn. Nah. They do have D-Gleam. Still gonna get the Ice Spinner off, should do a decent amount. Sash. Uh, Sucker Punch is now an option, but they know that. So what I'm actually gonna do is... Go for the Speed Tie play. This is really risky. No, they outspeed. Make it rain protects really my only out here. Definitely doesn't KO Ndidi. I think I lose the end game. Unless I crit. No. There's the TR. Um Make it rain protect is my only out if they like decide to expanding force here. Set up like armor cannon. Nah, they armor cannon. GG. Look. 
There are three things certain in life, death, taxes, and me losing to Ndidi Armourish. It's basically a feature of the stream at this point. Okay. Um, what even is this? I can't really see a cohesive thing going on here other than these two. And that's scary. I can't lead off Cyclozar versus this team most of the time because one of these guys has to have booster energy and then Cyclozar doesn't get to have fun. So... Hmm. You know, this can be the last one anyways. Let's just use Cyclozar. What I haven't used is this Chen Pao thing. But I think I still... Like, Swords Dance on Chen Pao, but I think I still do this. All right, they did lead off with Bungle, which sucks. However, their booster on this guy. So actually, Shedtail's fine? Oh, he's Blizzard. I'm going to get Blizzarded. Oh, he Aurora Veiled. No, that's cool. Let's get him bold and go. And I should always be able to nasty plot here and go for like a super fang onto Deli Bird because I'm pretty sure it's Deli Bird because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's going to want to go for um, or I'm pretty sure it's going to be like Sash or something. Blizzard doesn't break, doesn't kill mouse hold either. Super fang goes off. Nasty plot up. I'm probably going to get blizzarded again, but it'll be fine. Because now I can get in uh, my booster energy Fluttermane. And we can go for Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam. Plus make it rain. And that should catch most of their options. KOU. This is a single target that's going to KOU. I'm concerned about you though. You're giving me some bad vibes. Oh, so are you. Hmm... I mean, I am bold and go. I think that my win con is just targeting down you. But if I get in Cyclozar, I can like go for um. I can go for breaking swipes, which might win me the game. Yeah, I think they might even just like earthquake here. Alright, I can eat that. Shadow Ball should do a decent amount. Tailwind. Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. Alright, Protect Breaking Swipes like my only way I can possibly win this. If they, like, throw. That does so much. Why does that do so much? Air Blast. Alright. Um... Hmm. I think I lose. I think it's just another L. I know Shadow Ball KOs. And they might want to target on Fluttermane. I have to just do the obvious play. And hope that they Terra Blast Flutter. Because Bold and Go eats. Nah, I couldn't do the obvious play. Alright, GG. Well played. Alright. So, my diagnosis. Cyclozar isn't actually that, like, good. But it's also not that bad. You can get away with it. I think that this wasn't the optimal team. But it was, like, A team. And it would take, like, multiple iterations of this to get Cyclozar to work consistently. Um, but I think it would be something like this. The reason that like Cyclozar doesn't really work out too well is I think in previous games Cyclozar would have been fine and this move would have been kind of busted for like VGC. But the reason it doesn't work here is because it also requires like a partner to ensure that the sub doesn't immediately break. Because while fast substitute is great, 
I would argue slow substitutes a little bit better. So maybe next time we'll do Orthworm. That could be interesting. I don't know. We'll look into it. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today's video slash stream. If you guys enjoyed, you know, leave a like, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.